Hi to you all, and this is Motion Space again, bringing you another video. And this may seem insignificant to a lot of you who already know about uh, this information, but I am sure that somewhere out there, there will be folks that can really benefit from this, okay? Because in this channel, we talk about a credit journey, both on the personal and the business side. And anything that can help us on the personal side will certainly make a difference because if we consider uh, building our business profile on the business side, we still need to build up on the personal side as well. Now, as of this video, we are 366 subscribers strong. So that was quite a surprise. And I thank you guys for just you know tuning in and and checking in and and following this you know very new channel and if it is your first time to come across this channel i do welcome you and thank you very much for your time in checking out these videos that i have here and hope that one way or the other one or two of these videos would make a difference and will provide you with the information that perhaps you may be seeking and help you in your journey as well and that would make this you know worthwhile anyway to my subscribers 366 of you out there i appreciate you uh being here and you know uh, uh talking and sharing information and i'm learning from you guys actually so i really appreciate that also so a big shout out to you all and i appreciate your presence and i really do mean that now, this video that I will share with you today is a website called theoptoutprescreen.com where I did experience uh, using them and I opted in and uh, in order to start receiving pre-approved offers uh, from different companies. You know, some of them are credit cards, some of them are personal loans and store cards and and just about anything because you're part of a population wherein you chose to receive these offers but in the same token in this website you can also choose not to receive any offers permanently i have never heard of this website before until i started my journey and that's the reason why i wanted to share it because there may be some of you out there that will benefit from it and like i said this channel is all about learning and sharing you know this information so before we get started just a little reminder from motions biz don't go away so if you go to this website it gives you an explanation of what goes on, what you can do, what are your rights under the Fair Credit Reporting Act, because basically the reason why you will receive pre-approved offers or pre-qualification offers from different companies is that they have, I would say, a kind of a relationship with the, uh, with the uh, uh, credit bureaus, but whatever they have it's more like a soft pull they just look into your profile and see the ones who might match you know their offers and that's why you get a lot of these things from your uh from your mail uh, you will receive things in the mail you know offering you store cards or gas cards or or uh, just different credit cards that are pre-approved you know and sometimes it would say pre-qualification but i will just expound that a little bit more later says here, what are the benefits of receiving offers? So Equifax, Experian, Innovis, and TransUnion, collectively the consumer credit reporting companies, encourage you to make an informed decision about receiving a firm pre-approved or pre-screened offers of credit or insurance. There are several benefits of receiving these firm offers consumers are provided with product choices consumers learn about and have an opportunity to take advantage of offers that may not be available to the general public 
Now it also just explains what is the purpose of this website. So under the Fair Credit Reporting Act or FCRA, the consumer credit reporting companies are permitted to include your name on lists used by creditors or insurers to make firm offers of credit or insurance that are not initiated by you. They're called firm offers. The FCRA also provides you with a right to opt out, which prevents consumer credit reporting companies from providing your credit file information for firm offers. I think about it was last year that I signed up um, on this website, but I opted in, uh, not opted out, because when you opt in, that means you can receive offers. And if you opt out, you won't, you will not receive all these things. And the reason why I did that was that I was looking for pre-approved offers because I did not want a lot of, you know, hard pulls on my credit. And I just wanted to see what is out there because, of course, I heard it on the grapevine that you can do this and receive offers. And I just wanted to test it out and see, you know, what happens. So after 30 days, about 30 days, I would say, from signing up uh, with them and opting in, I started to receive uh, pre-approved offers in the mail. And it was quite a few. And, you know, it was offering pre-approved uh, credit for 4000 for 5000 and, you know, uh, personal loans. But, um, of course, I was still careful about, you know, applying for them because not because it is pre-approved, means that you can just, you know, uh, get all these offers left and right because it's also going to mess up your personal finances. So everything I share here, guys, is still, I would say, you know, um, just for, excuse me, just for you to make an informed decision because ultimately you have, uh, you're responsible for uh, planning your finances and your life and you know you're pretty smart out there and the reason that you are here in this channel and checking out things it's because you are uh, researching things you you try to get information and you know use that according to how you feel uh, w uh, would benefit you know would benefit you personally and I know that it is very common for folks to try to apply for something not knowing whether they would qualify or not and incur a lot of hard pulls on their credit report and not even sure which credit bureaus, you know, these this, uh, companies would pull from. Just so as not to make this video too long, if you are interested and if it's something that you would consider, definitely go to their website, okay? Now, your social security number and date of birth are not required to process your request. However, providing this information will help to ensure that they can successfully process your request. Now, this website security protocols and features are designed to protect your personal information from unauthorized access or alteration. So just a little tip there. When you do the application, uh, make sure that your address, phone numbers, like information that you give to the credit bureaus would match uh, the information you would put on your application, okay? Because that, that would matter a lot, you know, to make sure that they match, they would be sure that, you know, that's you, it's the same person. Now, over here, if you go to the website, they do provide a lot of that information that you can check out yourself. Now, when you opt in, your name will be eligible for inclusion on lists used for firm offers of credit or insurance. Now, the electronic opt-out for five years is where your name will not be eligible for inclusion on lists for firm offers of credit or insurance for five years. You can also opt out by mail so you don't have to do it online and I know that there are uh, there are still people out there that you know likes to mail things but yep there's definitely that option and when you do that that will be a permanent opt out by mail where your name will no longer be eligible for inclusion on this lists for offers okay so 
as you can see here, it's got that continue button and you just keep clicking on that and it provides you the information and it will lead you to the application form. So here you will see the application form is pretty simple. You put your first name, last name, all that good stuff, you know, date of birth, address, especially. So that will be the process and uh, you will just, you know, submit that information and wait about 30 days and you will start to notice that there are trickles, you know, of offers in the mail. And it's also just one way to see, you know, if you might find like a good offer. And just a little tip again, when you receive those pre-screened or uh, pre-approved offers, when you fill out their application and it asks only for the last four digits of your social security number, that means that is a soft pull, okay? Now, usually if it is your whole social security number, that would be a hard pull. But just to be sure, okay, because a lot of these lenders and firms creative. So if you see a good offer and it only has the last four digits of your social security number, just give them a call and ask, you know, it won't hurt. So uh, because I'll tell you, you will, you would really come across some good offers, which I did. So um, and I've used quite a few of them. And it's just, you know, knowing what's out there in the market. And in fact, I'm starting to receive this on the business side as well. So I'm receiving a lot of offers for capital funding for, you know, operations and stuff. So it's interesting to see that, you know, happen. So anyway, I'm not going to make this video short and, you know, check it out yourself, you know, uh, that uh, on their website, there's a lot of information there, but I definitely have used this um, uh, website to do that and, you know, just compare products and see what products, you know, um, have have special offers. So anyway, again, I thank you so much and hope that some of you may be able to use this information. And if you have already used this, I mean, please, you know, share that uh, experience and share that information here in the comment section. And I know you guys are so good at commenting and sharing information and, you know, laughing at me when I was asking for like a hundred dollar <laughs> credit limit increase. And I am just so appreciative of you guys because you have been so congenial and, and just really very cool about it. You know, I mean, <laughs> Some people would have had like commented, okay, what's wrong with this woman <laughs> was not reading instructions because I did experience having a troll, guys. And I'm not sure if you saw some of the very rude and and disrespectful comment uh, to the other commenters. And, and I did not appreciate that. And we will not tolerate that here, guys. So whenever you notice something, you know, you let me know and... We want to keep it a very wholesome community. I mean, there's so much going on in this world that we don't need that here. We we need to learn from each other and we need to just, you know, know that, you know, there's still some good uh, uh, group of people out there that, you know, are, are into learning and sharing instead of putting each other down. So I really appreciate that from you guys for being very considerate with me, okay? So again, until my next video and hope that I would have a result from that Navy Federal Credit, li uh, credit Limit increase in the future. So I will definitely let you know. So anyway, have a wonderful and blessed day to you and your loved ones, okay? And I will see you on my next video.